Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes as the input. Then you get the bubble count as v. Then print the string v times as below the first line. So the first line we have the width vowel and sorry the first vowel and the width vowel are enclosed in hyphen. So in the same way in the second line we'll have the second vowel and the v minus one vowel that are enclosed in hyphen. So now in the third line we'll have the third vowel and v minus second vowel that is enclosed between hyphen and so on. So first we get the string yes, then we'll have to get the vowel count v, then we have to print the strings v times as per the conditions. So the first line will have the first vowel and the width vowel that are enclosed in hyphen. Then in second line we have the second vowel and v minus one vowel that are enclosed in hyphen. Then in third line we have third vowel and v minus two vowel that are enclosed in and so on so now let us take our first test case so here we have vowel count to be 6 so we have to print the strings for v times that is for 6 times so so after printing it 6 times now we have to enclose the first vowel and the width vowel. So we have highlighted them. Then after that, we have to get the second vowel and B minus one vowel. Then after that, we have to get the third vowel and V minus two vowel. Then after that we have to get the fourth vowel and v minus third vowel is this. So after that v minus four is e, then fifth vowel is e. So when this pattern continues, we'll have our output. So as you can see, we have the vowels in the sequence based upon our conditions so this will be our output now let us take our second test case so in the same way we have the vowel count here to be 1 2 3 4 5 so we will print the string elevation for 5 times so now in the first line we will take the first vowel and the width vowel then we'll take the second vowel and v minus one vowel then we have the third vowel and the v minus two vowel to be the same that is a then after that we have the fourth fourth vowel and v minus 3 vowel 
then after that we have fifth vowel and b minus fourth vowel so this will be our output now let us implement our program first we'll get the input string s yes. then we'll get the vowel count of the string so ch for ch in s yes, if ch in a e i o u or a e i o u then so since we are getting the vowel count will have length here so after that we'll iterate over the vowel times of the string then after that we have two variables the rest string that is the rest string will be modified for every iteration then the other variable is vowel sorry current vowel so the current vowel holds the position of the vowel then after that we'll have for ch in string s if ch is not in a e i o u that is if it is a consonant we have to append the resultant string with ch else the if the current vowel will be incremented by 1 and if the current vowel is equal to equal to ctr or current vowel is equal to equal to b minus ctr plus 1 that is if the current vowel is equal to equal to ctr if ctr is 1 means it denotes the first occurring vowel and if the if we have v means then it denotes the vth vowel then we'll append the rest resultant string with ch enclosed within hyphen else we will append the rest resultant string with ch and at last we'll print the resultant string so we are getting the input string s yes, then it, we are having the vowel count of string s yes, then we'll iterate over them then after that we have the variable rest string which will be modified for every iteration then we have the current vowel which holds the position of the vowel then after that we'll iterate over the ch in string so if it is a consonant then the rest the resultant string will be appended with ch else the current vowel will be incremented by 1 and if the current vowel is equal to equal to ctr or the current vowel is that is equal to equal to vth vowel then then the resultant string must be appended with ch enclosed with a hyphen else the resultant string will be appended with ch and at last we'll print the rest string now let us execute our program with our first test case so here we have got the correct output as we discussed in our logic video now we'll pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully <laughs> hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video